In this video, I'll be showing you how to download the Dolphin emulator for your PC so you can play GameCube games and Wii games. The first thing I want you to do is go to the link in the description. There, everything will be there for you to download so you can be successful to get the emulator. In the downloads folder, there should be an actual emulator and also a gift for you. You will also need an unzipping tool like 7-Zip so you can extract the file once you download it. The first thing you're going to do is go to the file that says Dolphin and then you're going to unzip that particular file. Once you open up the file, you'll scroll down to the Dolphin picture and then you'll double click it. Once you do that, you should get this message or pop-up screen. You're just going to simply click No. Once you are there, you're going to go to the graphics, click it, and that's when we're going to set up the graphics. We're going to go to OpenGL, and then we're going to change the aspect ratio to 16 by 19. We're also going to click VSync. If you have any issues with stuttering or loading issues, just make sure you come here, and this is where you will turn down the graphics to help with any type of stuttering. The last thing we'll check in this section is start with full screen. The next tab we're going to move over to is the enhancement tab where we're going to change our resolution. This is depending on how powerful your PC is. I'm going to change mine to these specific settings. This should work for your PC, but make sure if your PC, depending on how powerful it is, is depending on these settings. So just start off with mine, and if you have any stuttering or loaded issues, just come here to turn it down. The next place I want you to go is where it says controller. This is where we'll set up our controller. If you're using a real Wii remote, all you have to do is click the drop down and then you click real Wii remote and then you'll set it up accordingly. If you use any other type of remote, you'll do the same thing. But on the drop down, you'll click where it says emulate Wii remote and then we'll go ahead and press configure. Once you're here, hit the drop down to select the particular controller that you're using, and then you want to configure each button on the controller. For an in-depth video on how to set up tilt and all other buttons for your Wii controller, just go ahead and go to this video right here. The link will be in the description to help you out. Next thing I would like for you to do is go to config at the top, go to interface, and then click download game covers. Next we'll go to view and then we'll click grid view. The last thing we'll do is add our games for the emulator. Make sure that you have your GameCube games and also your Wii games in the same folder. You simply double click right here in the middle and then we go to the folder with our Wii and our GameCube games located in it. If you use the link in the description, then that particular link came with a gift for you, so I hope you enjoy. After you do that and click open, the game should pop up right here for you. The next step is to simply play. We'll double click to open the game and then that's it. If you would like to add modifications to the Dolphin emulator games, all you have to do is go to the video right here that I made, link in the description, and it'll show you a simple and easy way to add mods to your Dolphin emulator games. If this video helps you out in any way, shape, or form, please tap that like and hit that subscriber button. Thank you so much.